Hello. Hi, everybody. Well, welcome back to Karina on a Crochet. Today, we are going to talk about granny squares because I know there's a challenge going on right now. Um, a couple of the crochet designers made a challenge uh, to make something with granny squares. So I've got my two things that I'm making. They're actually birthday presents for my sons. I made one rectangular granny square blanket and one square granny square blanket and I'm working on those right now. They're not done yet, but I thought I'd show you the progress that I've um, done so far. Also, I have a couple other items that I've been working on. I have a shawl that I'm making that I'm making for a friend of mine who is um, not well right now. So I've been crocheting her a special, I'm calling it my angel's wings shawl that she can wrap around her and hopefully feel warm and feel better when she's wearing it. And know that I've been praying the whole time. I've been crocheting it for her. Um, she's been in my prayers the whole time. And then also, I'm going to show you some bags, cotton bags, that I've been making um, to put my things in. Uh, like crochet bags that you put your things in that you're working on. Because I don't sew too much. I can't find my sewing machine. I know it's somewhere. I think it's in storage. But I haven't had time to go out there and pull everything out of storage, if you know what I mean. If any of you have storage and you have things in there, and in order to find something, you've got to get in there, pull everything out, and then you're looking for whatever you're looking for, and then you got to put it all back in, and it's got to be neat and nice so that you can find something again. Anyway... It's a big ordeal, and I haven't had a chance to do it. So I can't find my sewing machine, so I've been crocheting my, my project bags, and I'm trying to get, do them in like different colors. So I'll show you those. But the first things first, and I'm going to show you my son's granny square blankets that I've been working on. So let me take the camera, and I'll take it right over here to where they are so that you can see them. So I'm going to turn it around, and there it is. Can you see them? There are two. That's a rectangular granny square blanket, and then that is the square granny square blanket. And I did it with all my crochet um, leftovers, all my scrap yarns, and I just decided I want to start cleaning up for spring, and that's how I usually like to do it, by making blankets with all my crocheted um, leftovers. So those are the two blankets. I hope you can see them okay. Let's see, there's the rectangular one. Let's see, there's the rectangular one. And then there's the square. Okay, so anyway, hopefully you got those. Um, and then this is my Angel's Wings. This is the Angel's Wings shawl that I made for my friend. And I'm going to be giving that to her. Can you see it? So that is the shawl that I made, the Angel's Wings, and I decided to do it in white. So, um, and then this is my project bag. This is my cotton project bag and what I did is I made this in cotton and I put handles on it so that that way I could put all my cotton yarn in here and I know where it all is. And when I go to the doctors or the dentist or somewhere that I know I just need a little bag, I take this with me with a crochet hook and I start crocheting dishcloths for presents. So that's another one. And then this is my bigger crochet bag, project bag for uh, bigger projects. So can you see that? Yeah, there it is. So anyway, those are a few of the things that I'm making right now. Sorry about that. 
Okay, those are a few of the things that I'm making right now. So, oh, it's exhausting at times, but I love it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. When you have certain things that you're making and you want to accomplish, accomplish it within a certain amount of time and you want to finish them, you kind of like, sometimes it can be, um, there's deterrence that keep you from working on them. Of course, you all know that. But when you finally get to sit down and work on them, uh, it's so gratifying because you feel like you've accomplished like another row and it's getting a little bigger. Those are, I'm talking about my my blankets right now. So those are going to be my son's birthday presents this year. I have one son, Troy, my youngest son, and he's getting the rectangular granny. And then my oldest son, um, Pablo, is getting the square, granny square blanket. So I'm excited for them to have them because I always wanted to crochet each one of my children a special blanket from me so that they always have that, know that I made it with lots of love. And no matter what happens in the future, um, they will always be warm because I will keep them warm in that blanket that I crocheted them. Those are my kids, you know. Um, and then I also made, well, I also made a square granny square blanket for my granddaughter. And that one I already gave her. I, I gave it to her at Christmas. I think I mentioned that to you. Um, and then I have three grandsons that live in Oregon that I need to start crocheting blankets for too. But first I'm finishing my sons. And then I have one for my daughter that I'm making and I'll show you that one. Uh, I'll show that one on my next video. She's Hers is almost done actually. I call it the rainbow blanket. The square granny square blanket I'm calling my uh, kaleidoscope blanket. And then the rectangular one actually was... Um, uh, just another scrap blanket that I wanted to start doing and I started it like last year and I um, just kind of threw it to the side and never worked on it and then as his birthday approach got you know approached and got um, closer I decided I better start working on it so my goal is to finish those this year give them to them and um, then of course my angel's wings shawl is going to be given to my friend pretty soon. I'm going to give her that. I just finished it. And then uh, my I uh, showed you my project bags. i ha still working on these. And what I'm doing is I'm buying cotton yarn in every color. And I'm just making them in every color. Either big ones or small ones. Depending. I like to have a few different sizes in case the project's a little bigger. Of course the the blanket ones, I can't fit into those, but I what I did was the blanket ones, the blanket projects, I put them in a great big bag that I made, a basket bag that I made. I think I showed you that in another video. So uh, that's what I've been up to and that's what I've been doing. Oh, and this, this cowl is actually a shell stitch. The shell, it's a shell stitch um, that I made. And I just made this in 100% um, cotton because it's going to be spring pretty soon. So it's cool enough. It's not quite as hot. And I thought maybe I, I just need a little something to put over my shoulders. And so I made this. And it's it feels really nice. It, that 100% cotton feels really good. Um, so anyway, I hope you're all doing good. And I hope that you guys are crocheting lots of fun and neat things. And I've been watching your videos, so I know that you are. So you all take care and I will show you something that I've been working on that's really special at my next video because I'm not done with it. That's why I'm not going to bring it out. But it's um, a birthday present for my granddaughter and it's another wreath, but I did different things on the wreath and I'll have to show you how I came up with that. Um, I actually got the idea from a leather lady on YouTube that did a wreath that did uh, some different things on her wreath. And I got the idea and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make something similar to that, but I'm going to do my own thing. So I'll show you on my next video exactly what I did and how I did it. And I think you're all going to really like it because you know how much we like these wreaths. Uh, and then you can put a picture of the person that you love. 
Um, I gave one to my sister for her birthday and she loved it. And I'll show you a picture of that too. Uh, my next video, the wreath video. So anyway, take care and have fun and crochet, crochet, crochet. Bye.